This video shows you how to build this Victorian house model. The original house was built in the 1890s in Amherst, Massachusetts, but the design for this project has been updated. This model was constructed with a 3D home kit. You can purchase the 3D home kit online or in catalogs for about $35. If you are interested in architecture, this is the perfect project for you. During the model building process, you will experience the work and reward of an architect and learn about the design and building process. Most of all, you'll have fun as you take on this exciting challenge. Architects need to know how to work with their hands. That's why the best schools of architecture teach hands-on model building. Architects use computers for much of the design and presentation of their projects, but there is nothing that compares with building a physical three-dimensional model. This section shows you how to build the Victorian house model with a 3D home kit. Each kit sheet has an illustration of a building material on the front side and a one quarter inch scale grid on the back. The grid makes it easier to construct your model and the illustrations give your model realistic detail. This is the 3D home kit double size floor plan grid sheet. The floor plans for both lower and upper floors are drawn on this sheet. You will need to print or copy each of these sheet layouts, then draw them on the grid side of each kit sheet. Make sure your computer is set for the highest quality image. Cut out the lower level floor plan along the perimeter. The lines along the perimeter show the exterior of the house. The lines in the interior show the interior walls and outline of the kitchen cabinets. Cut out the upper level floor plan along its perimeter. This plan varies slightly from the lower level floor plan. Next are the two double-sided grid sheets for the interior walls. Blue and green dots show you where to score and bend each piece. Score means to cut partially through the sheet so you can bend the sheet exactly. Blue dots show where to score on the illustration side of the sheet, and green dots show where to score on the grid side. The walls for the lower level are cut 12 feet high, and the walls for the upper floor are cut 10 feet high. Since these dimensions include the thickness of the structure, the actual ceiling heights are about 10 feet for the lower level and 8 feet for the upper level. The kitchen cabinets and appliances are made from the kit's Kitchen and Accessories sheet. You can design and construct your own kitchen layout. Here is the grid side of each of the two sheets of siding. The pieces are taped together on the grid side. To make the windows, you can cut them out of the siding material or glue on the kit's windows. One advantage of cutting the windows is that you can look through them and see inside the model. Use leftover siding material to make window mullions and muntins, corner boards, roof flashing, and fascias. This is the grid side of each of the two sheets of roof material. Attach the roof sections together by taping the complete seam on the grid side. The yellow dots show where to slit the pieces so that they fit onto the siding when you assemble the model. Use leftover roof material to make ridge caps and flashing. Glue these in place to firmly hold the roof sections together. This is the grid side of the cedar sheet. It is used for the three gable ends at the top of the siding. Since there is extra material, it is also used to make the roof trusses. Glue the trusses in place to support the roof sections. This is the grid side of the deck and stone sheet. This sheet also has a scale and roof slope calculator. Use this sheet to make the floors on the front and side decks. Custom cut the deck to fit around the turret. This is the grid side of the stucco sheet. It is used for the walls and structure of the front and side porches. The railing illustration is glued onto these pieces. Make a copy of the railing to cover the entire length. This is the grid side of the brick sheet. It is used for the foundation walls, interior fireplace wall, and chimney. The top of the chimney is made from an illustration on the window sheet. You can use the Home Quick Planner to lay out the furniture in your model. This planner is available online and in catalogs. The planner has 700 reusable peel and stick furniture and architectural symbols. This is the original house. A model of this house is featured on the cover of the 3D Home Kit. Many people who purchased the kit asked how they could build this model. This video provides updated plans. Videoing this project was a fun adventure. To show all sides of the model, a garden cart wheel was mounted on a sheet of plywood. 
and a string was wrapped around the wheel and gently pulled to rotate it. Building this model is a wonderful individual or team project. After you have finished this project, you can use the 3D Home Kit to design and construct a model of your own dream house. If you enjoy architecture, the 3D Home Kit is the perfect project for you.